Um, current macro environment. I know you want to talk about that. What is, what is the, like, should we assume bear for longer? Is there any hope short term for reversal? What do you got? Well, it's interesting because right now the dollar is really wreaking havoc on the world. Uh, interest rates are wreaking havoc on the world. You know, everybody is feeling what's happening in our domestic economy because of the, you know, flowing, floating exchange rates with currencies um, or foreign exchange rates, floating foreign exchange rates. So to keeping that in mind, you know, you, you see the dollar at all time highs, but no signs of slowing down. But no reason to slow down because of all the printing, right? All that printing has to do something, has to go somewhere, right? And while the Fed might have stopped in some instances, it still continues to do so in others. And what's actually going on is that you're seeing... <clears throat> Hold on. Um, so when you're thinking about what's actually happening, it's like they're trying to drain this tub from different places while still filling it up from other places, right? That's really what's going on in the market right now. So it's a little confusing. So while people are thinking rates might go higher persistently in the near term, you got to understand how these markets fluctuate, right? Uh, we're reaching a point in time where economic factors are now taking hold. And what do I mean by that? Companies yeah. are showing lack in profits. Companies are going bankrupt. Companies Layoffs. are laying off workers left and right, right? All these things are happening in real time. So the odds of interest rates sliding lower have increased once again so that is to say that you could see the long end of the yield curve actually go down in in, in yield terms which means mm. that the price of those fixed income instruments goes higher and that's just how those types of markets fluctuate but what's happening you know the financial system that we've known for the past 50 years is really coming to a head Damn. and what's going to happen after that you know we're going to see these volatile interest rates move through time because <laughs> you know you got to realize they're they've been playing these games that they couldn't afford to play and now the debt has been called and the the world economy is calling them on it and that's the dollar but why can't they get, just keep pushing off? Why can't they just you know keep barring against it, keep pushing away the debt because, for another day, kick the can down the road? Because who's going to pay them? Who's going to take their dollar? Nobody's taking their dollar already. They already stopped using it. They can't kick the can down any longer. They don't have anybody to play with in their sandbox. You think they're out of leverage to, leverage to pull in you know, other places? Out, completely out of it. Hmm. Look at the EU. Look at all the... Well. Yeah, look at all the countries that side with the West. Well, are the ones siding with not the West doing any better, though? Yes. Structurally, yes. Good, any, got any, any good examples for that? Look at Russia. Russia isn't hurting, monetarily speaking. <sighs> yeah. That's, Funny. Uh, Funny, right? How about them sanctions? They be doing fine. Yeah, how about them Weirdly sanctions? Weirdly enough. Yes. So, you know, it's understanding these economic realities that separates people that understand the game from those that don't. You know, I spent a long time on Wall Street trying to figure out what was the next trade after that major crash of 2008, 2007, 8, right? And that's what all these guys are trying to figure out now because nobody really understands what's going on. Everybody's stuck in the past thinking that this is some temporary shit. And I'm afraid to say that what we're about to experience is transitional, i.e. Mm -hmm. consistent change moving forward. Everybody's comfortable with their USD unit of account. I think people need to learn that units of account are variables and variables change with time. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. And that's I don't the think the definition people, of variable. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And I don't think people respect that enough. So they might learn a life lesson here really soon, just like America and the world did in the 70s. But the question is, who's in control? And that's hard to say at this point in time. Will people get more comfortable with USDC? Unfortunately, people are already comfortable with USDC and BlackRock is the asset manager. So that's not positive. So that's, so that's the control side. Okay. You know. that, they got admin keys, don't they? Yes, they yeah. do. Yeah. Yes, they do. So for whoever loves to sit in stables, you better learn what crypto is because that's not part of it. Good luck with that. Well, that's that's a good question, though. So, would you would you recommend die or would you recommend something I else if you don't if you want to get out of all? I don't recommend things? anything with admin keys. How about that? Yeah, so stables without admin, better. You can do stables if you like. I say find a crypto that is actually a crypto. That's what I say. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You're 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 probably thinking it's like not even in the realm of stables. It's more no. like when why I you need first... stables if you believe in the crypto. Correct. When I first came back into the market, I did not grasp the utility of fucking stable coins. And I'm talking about 2020, the other day. Mm. I had to learn and find out that people were using them in, repl in placement of the dollar internationally. Most people don't even know that. Yeah. That's the only yeah. reason it's so popular. It's a good unit of account to get USD with from crypto to fiat. And that's all. But what happens when that USD is no longer relevant? The USDC goes down with USD, you think? Yeah, by default, bro. Unit of okay. account is a unit of account. You think the USDC is going to be special? No, it's replicating the dollar. So it goes down too, by default. I just hope we're not using the digital yuan. Well, look, it's a variable. You can use whatever you want. The mission in my mind, is educating people enough to know they have a decision to make, an option. And they make that choice. Nobody else. That's the that's the point of crypto. It's not so other motherfuckers can keep your keys. That's not okay. what this is about. Not it's not so, that's your point. Yeah, Burn it into not, your brain. Yeah, it's not so people can uh, ascertain um, your wealth by taking your keys and, and custodying your assets or whatever have you. That's not what crypto is. That's completely antithetical to crypto. You know, this is supposed to be software that you interact with and you conduct your, your affairs with, your financial affairs with, not some third party, not through some third party, none of that. We have to deal with that because people don't know their rights. If people knew their rights, they would not deal with banks. Plain and simple, because banks abuse their rights every day. Came back to banks, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. And what are the Bitcoin maxis doing? Bending over to banks. Well, well, you mentioned the transition. So if we're in a transition, how does that, uh, I don't know, what, how, how does that play? Is there, I don't know, how does that play into the markets? How does that play into crypto? Is it good well, or bad in the, in the, in the it's hard, long term. To, it's hard to say because a lot of people think they're going to be safe with cash. A lot of people are thinking they're going to be safe with all these typical run-of-the-mill situations. But I think that what we're going to see is something that we don't know what to expect. That's what I think. It could be a completely brand new CBDC. It could be USDC. We don't actually know what it could be. Right. Brian Armstrong could run for president. Well, what's interesting is you're seeing people that have worked at Ripple and um, Coinbase, Coinbase. And, and whatever have you are in federal government now. They are able to make policy, write policy, sit down on the table and say, yay, nay. Like these are the things that people don't pay attention to, but they should because our future is dependent on what we decide. That's right. Uh, Bob, the guy, it's a, a counterpoint for stables, but again, I think it was a point too. And I, I tend to agree. Of course. Yeah. I think. You're hmm. thinking in USD terms. That's the problem. You're thinking yeah. in a unit of account that you earn money in. And that's not what this is about. This is about replacing that. Yeah. If you're not and, replacing that, then of course you're going to have this variability. 
the issue is the stable you're looking for, not the asset. The asset isn't changing in value. The asset just is. One hex equals one hex. And that one hex earns you more hex. 